Hey everybody, it's Mark T. And it is Saturday. I haven't made any videos recently on weekends, mainly just because, I don't know, I have yet to have a real reason to start making videos. But, you know what, I went to the mall again today and picked some stuff up. Uh, mainly just because it was kind of dull, my previous video, my weekly pickups. There was only four things, and you know, I never really thought it was that great, so I'm making a weekend pickups. This is just a one in a, it's called, every once in a while thing, I don't do it very often. But, you know what, let's get to it. The whole bag of goodies, and let's take a look. First thing I have to show you is the first thing I bought. This, this game, I bought from uh, some, the store I like to go to down on Lakeshore. It's, it's called, it's um, called uh, Community Roots, it's a good store to find stuff that you wouldn't be able to find in a normal store. Like, it's kind of a specialty store, but it's also kind of a mess, so finding anything is really hard to do. Anyway, I found this game. It's uh, an import from Japan. You can tell it's because of the different kinds of writing and whatnot, and the fact that the cover is not in English. Uh, I heard from the guy. He said um, the game like does work on the uh, PSP. It's international. So it will work on my PSP, uh, but it'll be hard to play you know, without understanding Japanese. But I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. Not very sure, but anyway. So I picked it up. It was twenty four ninety nine, which I found a bit of a stretch, but you know, whatever. It's, it's, it looks pretty good. Uh, so yeah. Coming up, I uh, had actually also gone to uh, Dixie Mall, and I ordered um, these two movies from this awesome kiosk uh, at Dixie Mall in the flea market. Uh, I was able to, you know, it's like this guy, he has three books of many different kinds of movies, pretty much every single movie in existence, I believe. Um, and, you know, I ordered some movies from him. Uh, he didn't look like that legit, but, you know... I think the quality of his movies are okay, so I just, I ordered two movies just to see how it tests out, like, if he had, you know, something good or whatnot, so, yeah. Uh, I ordered House of Wax, starring Vincent Price, and The Mystery of the Wax Museum, the two wa House of Wax movies, and it was kind of weird, but, you know, the two movies I wanted to see, so, yeah. So, yeah, he basically put them on a double case. It doesn't really bother me, he showed me the quality of the movies, and, uh, Unlike most like burnt DVDs or just that are just like go straight to the movies, these ones actually have the guides, the special features, all that stuff. Unfortunately, I I really wish he would have put on the uh, the discard instead of just this yellow uh, this yellow um cover with the letters. By the way, it's not the worst DVD. It's not the worst burnt DVD I've ever seen. Uh, you know, so yeah, can't wait to watch this. <clears throat> last thing I got are books, and you know what, flea markets, books are usually really, you can usually get really awesome deals. I just got some, uh, some manga here. Sorry. <laughs> I got, um, it was a, let's call it, it was a deal going on at this, uh, specific kiosk. It was buy, let's call it, buy, uh, three for five dollars, and each book itself is, two dollars so I could get two for four or three for five. You know, it's not really much of a difference. Uh so I got volumes one and two of um Beck Mongolian Chop Squad and getting back into the series anyone that actually looks at the at my favorite list. So I just wanted to see where the original story came from. So yeah, there's that and I also got Moon Phase uh Suka Yomi Moon Phase volume yeah, volume three. Uh, I don't have the first two, um, and I'll probably I'll probably just read the first two volumes online. But um, I heard from I heard from a friend that this was a good series, so why not? And they're all from Tokyo Pop, which I found was kind of funny. Uh, now, what was I actually going to do? Was I was actually planning on uh, buying a game from this uh, video game kiosk that they had there like almost every single video game for every single system uh... but uh, there's one game that I wanted to get, it was um... friggin... Dragon Quest 
uh, is like the set of Dragon Quest 1 and 2, and I wanted to get it, but it was $30, and you know, who's gonna pay that much for a Game Boy game? That's ridiculous. At least to me, anyways. Either way, um, that's about it, so, uh, see y'all later.